Are you after a sturdy wallet that can take a hyper beam, look cute like a Gardevoir, and be slim like a Sudowoodoo? Well, I got you covered. Introducing the Ridge Wallet, a slim, sexy way to carry around your cards and cash. I've used the Ridge Wallet for over 69 years now. The Ridge Wallet comes in a variety of styles to suit your everyday needs. These are some of the wallet styles I like the best, like the carbon fiber, the titanium, the gold, really nice cool designs to make you stand out. They also have some neat products to complement your wallet, like a bottle opener, pens, backpacks, charging, knives, you name it. You can get 10% off your purchase today with free worldwide shipping and returns by going to ridge.com slash pipnight. Yes, that's right, ridge.com slash pipnight and use code pipnight Link in the description of the video. Cheers, Ridge, for the channel sponsor. What's up, with you? For today's video, we have a Weevil sweep. Loopy, this one is for you. So Weevil, as you know, is a very strong Pokemon. It's got great offense and great speed. But this time, I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. Now, it's got the ability Pickpocket, which is a really unique, interesting ability. But most of the time, it's not all that good because it can't come into effect. So I'm going to be doing a strategy base around Pickpocket. Pretty much what happens if this Pokemon has no item and is hit by a contact move, it'll actually steal the attacker's item. This makes it relatively hard because this Pokemon isn't bulky. And usually, it's not going to get rid of its item there. If you do want to check me out on Twitch, people, this is where I do all my lives streams, my theme tanks, my Pokemon sweeps, and shiny hunts, all the forms of Salty Entertainment. Links in the description of the video. Let's get into this one. Uh, this is about, I'm not really sure what my opponent's name was here, but uh, this is a pretty cool opponent. I will say uh, that for sure. Now, the first uh, Pokemon I'm going to be leading off with here is going to be my Orbital. And we got a Trevenant lead here. So, probably not the greatest matchup in the world for my Orbital, but I only need to do a couple of things here. So, first thing I'm going to say is it's got a Lumberry. And on this set, I've got uh, Trick, Sticky Web, Substitute, and Baton Pass. Now, also, I will say this. I have got uh, some strategy at the end of this video, too, if you're sort of confused what happened here. Or you want to hear my full uh, explanation of this sweep and the strategy, I will be doing a full explanation at the end too. I did ask, uh, you know, a couple of, uh, I think a week or two back about that and people said they'd like it, so I'm going to keep putting it in. Okay, so setting up the sticky web there, that's going to be important. I know Weavile's a very fast Pokemon, but I'm sort of forced to run on this gimmicky set. I'm sort of forced to run a nature I wouldn't really usually want to. So I was thinking about setting up a sub. I thought, well, I might be able to get a baton pass, a substitute onto the Weavile and try and get my strategy going, but I really wasn't sure, right, because this had a Leech Seed set. So Leech Seed miss, and now it's going to attack me with Shadow Claws. I'm like, okay, well, that's out the window. I won't be able to set a sub up against a Shadow Claw uh, Trevor there, right? So my sub is going to fade. So I'm going to do the most important thing outside from Sticky Web here. I'm going to go for a trick here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to trick Throat Spray onto the Trevor. So I got a little plan here, right? After seeing uh, Shadow Claw, and this could actually work. So we've given the uh, Throat Spray to the Trevor, and I've got the Lumbry on the Trevor. So I'm guessing it's using Lumbry. Maybe it's healing itself over and over. Anyway, people, it is time for the Pickpocket Weavile. Really hope you enjoy this. It was a super cool battle. Peace.
Well, that was a nice refreshing change from my uh, salty opponent. Uh, we actually talked a little bit after the battle, and they're really cool. I actually exchanged some of my uh, interesting movesets with them. But really, let's get into this one. That was a really cool battle there. I got to make the special uh, weave I'll work. It, it's, it's not a very strong set, but it was pretty funny in that case. So let's have a quick look here. We had the Orbital starting off with the Throat Spray. I gave that to the opponent because I had plans of being able to use that item with Pickpocket as well. Now, this wasn't a sure thing strategy because Weavile could easily get one-shotted or it would take too much damage and then I'd be forced to go for Snarl. But uh, it actually did work in that instance, which was kind of cool. Um, this Weavile was a, a special set, as you can see, with Nasty Plot, Snarl, Blizzard, and a Dream Eater. Dream Eater was pretty funny because it actually gave me some quite good coverage against Fighting Tights, which Weavile was very weak against, which was great. And it works in Dynamax. So outside of that, it was pretty hopeless. I did have another Orb Beetle build that had Hypnosis with that and it was kind of similar, but I ended up using the other one instead. It was kind of similar though. Um, maybe I could, you know, Hypnosis the first Pokemon and then use Dream Eater to get some health back. I had sort of a couple of goes that, but it didn't really work, so I just went with the other one. Now, the EV spread on the first Weaver was uh, Max Special Attack and Max Speed. I gave it Modest Nature. Obviously, I plan to use Throat Spray from the start with Snarl, and then, you know, Pickpocket another Throat Spray that I gave the opponent, you know, with the Weaver, and then use it again. And it worked really, really well. I didn't get to use it right at the start, but you know, halfway through the battle, I got to use Snarl again, which is really, really good. Uh, just destroying the Calyrex uh, right there. Um... I wanted to say, too, I didn't actually mean to use Nasty Plot after I took the first Horn Leech. I always meant to go for a Dynamax then and there, and I'm kind of glad I did now, because I actually, I think I got, like, a max damage and a min damage, so which was, uh, which was pretty funny. I'll probably put something on the screen there that was a misclick, but if I didn't put something up on the screen about a misclick, it definitely was there, right? It was almost a merch bug, very, very close. Now, the other set I was going to do at the start was a Weavile with uh, Pickpocket and Focus Ash. This is Probably the easiest way to get it to work. Um, I had beat up Triple Axel. Oh, forget about a uh, double hit. I was meant to have Endure there. So then you could, uh, you know, you could live on one health of the Sash. You could go for the Endure and then activate Pickpocket when you got hit by a contacting move, right? That was another good way of getting it to work. Uh, that was just a pure sweeping set. A lot easier to get, but I had more interest in using this special set. I just wasn't really sure how well it would have gone. And, I mean, even at, even after a couple of uh, Snarls, it really wasn't strong. So it was quite good to get a nasty plot off there, but uh, the thing about that Weavile, it was hard to set up Nasty Bot because it was so frail, but yeah, that was pretty much the uh, setup of my special Weavile, and it, it worked out pretty well, it was fun to use Pickpocket too, because Pickpocket's a very, it, it's a very unique ability, but it's difficult to use because Weavile is, you know, it, it's it's a glass cannon, right, so you either have to be able to tank the hit, or use something like Endure to live it, but uh, really hope you enjoyed the Pokemon this week, if you did, please drop a like on that, very much appreciate that, and I'll catch you tomorrow for a brand new video, peace out people.